Uh, yeah, that works. Um, touch one creatures. Okay, so I will go ahead and touch you and the fire giant. Um, and then orient you, and then as I orient, I'll kind of orient it 90 counterclockwise so that we'll basically go uh, so I could be here and then you could, you would just be just northwest of me. Um, yeah, so if I would appear, would I just appear relative to you where I was before or would I appear here? You'd be right there, yeah. Okay, Boom. that's perfect for me. Actually, let me just make sure I can still hear Apollo. Actually, here would probably be better. I'll get, I don't want to go up. You don't, don't get a choice of where you land, Dane. Or oh, I don't? Land, okay, so you I land hear. where he puts you. I just have to be able to hear him, right? Uh, You're him for what? Uh, recitation. You have to be recitation. within the spell range. Yeah, that I have people to hear him. About 60 feet, I'm within 60 feet of you. You have to be in line of sight. Uh, it's a burst. It's a burst. So I should still have, have to, be. to be within line of effect, and there's a wall between him and you. Yeah, I'm but moving. burst goes around corners, I'm pretty sure. I'm moving, don't worry. Okay, if you just take a step this way, I should be able to work. I'm moving towards the fight. I'm not yeah. This. Yeah, yeah, don't I'm worry. Sure. All right, so the red. Okay, so those all hit the red. Um... Uh, all right, so should I just subtract hit points off the red? Yeah, that's when you're hitting. Uh, yeah, that'll take him out. Yoked. Uh, that'll take out the red. I think you then... have some math issues there. You rolled three oh. numbers that were around 20 and somehow got more than 60. Well, he got about 60. Uh, yes, 60 but, but it's got 67 64. hit points. Yeah, so it, is, it, is, it should have 3 HP left. Unless you were forgetting a damage bonus somewhere. Um, it had some... I think it was at... Uh, what was it? Uh, so, well, if it's within the damage... If it's in the bonus yeah, room... Unless that was wrong. It was at like 60-something... It has fast healing. But actually, wait, this turn hasn't done yet. I forget what the number was out. I think it was at 62. It hasn't taken any damage yet, I don't believe. It was just summoned this okay. round. It said the number, that's fine. Um, yep, that's fine. That's you that's... did 64 of its 67. You're okay. close. Not quite enough. Right. Um, yeah, it's definitely def definitely not going to last yeah. long. It was, it, was, it, was written, it was written at 62. I don't know why, but um, okay. Um, Um, let's see. Can Arthur see anybody from there? No. Okay. Um, in that case, we'll just have to move some more. How the fuck is recitation a conjuration spell? Same way healing is. That's, yeah. Healing should be necromancy. I don't know healing why they that. was necromancy in I think second yeah, I edition. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. It should. It should they, I don't know why they changed it. It was alteration in first edition. Right, right Dan. I think right, Dan. for most things, it's just a matter of balancing out the spells. In second edition, there were forty-two first-level spells in the player's handbook, and twenty-one wow. of them were alteration. So they kind of wanted to balance that. I guess that makes sense. Okay, um, Darius is done. Arthur's moved up, so then it's Lear. Uh, Lear will move into the room more. Yay. 
Nice, he has a line of sight to the slide. Okay, so he will hit it with a magic missile. Eighteen points. And uh there's nobody around that he can really do anything else for, so that'll be his action, and then Apollo. Okay, um I'm gonna come around the Oh, by the way, this red one can take. I'll just use that one for everyone I walk into. Start of the round, he'll take the five. That five d six did some damage. Uh, what is it? Five ass. Yep. Want to hit points off of him? Someone want to take off? Oh, that red one's dead now too because he did, took. 15. Do you want me to re-roll every one or just? No, that's fine. I'm fine with fifteen. That wasn't a tremendous roll for forty-six. Um, I'll move to here. Cast recitation. You are just waltzing through a threatened square, just for the record. I'll move there. Uh, it's, it's also oh, a threatened that's square. A that yellow circle around him, that's his threatened area. So as soon as you enter that square, you're in a threatened square. Okay, well, if I I was here, so if I five-footed there, I can then five-foot? Yep. And then I'll do a combat spell, combat casting spell check for the rest of the Ah... Locked bonus. Do you have any left? Yeah, I've got one, but I will bring it up to a two, which is 16. I don't think that's high enough. Nope. It's the uh, level 15 plus the level. Ah, yeah. Oof. Um, and I lose the spell now, right, as well? Or can you... I just cast? Can it take two, two hits? Yeah, you take an attack of opportunity. You take an attack of opportunity from the red slide. Oh, because I'd feel my combat casting shit. Okay. Oh, you would also take one from the blue slot. Isn't he up the hill? No, the yeah, blue slot's at the I'm... bottom of the hill. He's standing blocking the ramp. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, the red slot is plus 11. Who knows, maybe they'll That's easily this. hit. And oh, then the blue slot's plus 13. Missing. Oh, and that's good. That's the that's the rough one. Although the uh, the red slide does a lot of damage too. Well, let's see. Maybe you'll do lucky on the uh, second one. Only sixteen okay. points, but that's a DC twenty six concentration. He can make that if he does well enough. Yeah, if he saves the luck bonus from the first one, then I use luck it on bonus. The second. I didn't. Yeah, if I save it. Yeah, um, if you do it on the, maybe you should, just in case. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go. I can't do anything actually. That's my turn. Well, you well, can you roll can your. Roll your you roll another one. Nate, to keep, please to keep the just don't DM the game I'm running. Let me talk. He's asking me questions. You can roll your That's... spellcraft now. You did not cast defensively, therefore you provoked attacks of opportunity. Now you've taken damage. In order to cast a spell, you need to make a spellcraft check. And you blow it hey. out of the water. Oh, I do get the spell. Everybody gets the spell now? Yep, now you can cast your spell. Everybody gets recitation. Plus three to attacks, hits, to, to hits, to, to damage, I believe, as well, and skills and everything. AC as well. Weapon. Yeah, plus AC, three, attack, plus... rolls, and saving throws. Yeah, literally everything. AC, attack, rolls, saving throws, that's it. No uh, damage, but who cares? Okay. Zero, uh, I assume that's all your actions, so we're on to Anor. Alright, I'm still putting this in a second. 
Uh, all right, cool. I already have one in there. So let's do that. Um, I will take my bow shots. Um, I'm going to check to see if this macro is working correctly. Uh, or I might have missed my temporary. Whatever. Okay. Oh! Just short. Okay. I think that's enough. Might be close to a killing him. 36 damage. No, not quite. No, he has 24 health. When did that happen? Yep. The, if those are all hits, he's dead. Yeah. That... Whoa. Get fucked. Does that dismiss his uh, or destroy his uh, summons as well? Or how does that work? Um, I don't think so. I think they just stay for an hour. Nah, in second edition, it did. Um, in third edition, spells expire at the end of their duration. Even if the caster's dead. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I've had casters do that where they cast fly, and they're flying in the air, and then they get hit, <laughs> and the party can't heal them because they're 60 feet up in the air, and they bleed to oof death it. before the spell ends. Oh, that's an oof. Yeah, that happened in the other Bane game, the original one. Uh, the mage did that. Oh. They were fighting trolls, and he was just getting his shit pushed in, and he was like, fuck this shit. I cast fly, and I fly straight up. And then they started throwing rocks at him. And Rocks at him, yeah. Oof, that sucks. Anyway. Okay, um, that's the end of uh, initiative. That so we can turn. roll for the uh, new round. New round, yeah. Uh, holy crap, finally roll a decent initiative. Yeah, now's the time to go first when there's no monsters left. When there's when the the bad the big bad is already dead, yeah, exactly. Well, at least I'm the one who got the kill. Yeah, as it turned I out, I put out decent damage. I thought he was going to be much more devastating than he was. That's yeah, well, we managed or... to corner him, or he cornered himself, actually. I'm more so... scared of the green slides. Yeah, the green slides with their goddamn spell spam is nuts. I mean, this guy has the same a lot of spell abilities. He too, has all. Right? He's a green spe... He's a green slod with a hundred years of experience at being a green slod. The only difference yeah. between him and the the green slot is that he's better. Yeah, the difference though is that he summoned and lost his turn. Or used up his turn on summoning. Which no, was, the difference was Damon moved up and did 47 points of damage to him before he could make an effective attack. That's true. He That's lost true. his attack, had to back off, and then got surrounded. Same yeah. thing that happened to the first green slot in this first session. Guy, yeah. He got Damon cornered. Damon's pretty nuts. Yeah, he's fucking insane. He doesn't... I mean, yeah, Damon is really well built. I, I, I think his, uh, his, his character uh, design is very good. Thank you. The Thank term you you're looking for I mean, is I... cheating. He's not cheating. He's cheating. Okay. He has his charisma okay, to to his initiative. That's cheating. Well, okay, Damon, you're up I first. Mean, okay. If he all levels right. all of my charisma to saves, if I take levels as a paladin, or of uh, okay. equal paladin version. Just to prove that I'm not cheating, I am out of my... Uh, cheating? Ways to get things. Yeah, I'm out of <laughs> I'm you're out of his yeah. cheats, I'm therefore you're cheating. not cheating anymore. You're all out of cheats. So, so therefore I you're really not have a plan for what to do from here. I guess we'll just try to contribute to the end of the battle by attacking this blue, maybe moving into a position where we can help flank a little bit. Uh, what is it yeah, that you're out of? On... I'm out of ways to make it flat-footed until I spend a turn regaining maneuvers, but the battle's probably over by the time I do that. Oh, so... okay not really worth it that's the thing i don't like uh, about maneuvers is i don't understand what the nature of the recovery is it's like uh i can't do this maneuver until i stand here for six seconds and then now i can magically do it again yeah it's just the rule of cool okay i'm not cool enough yet i doing the same thing twice in a row that's not cool you have to change it up round around hey, as long as you like doing it i don't care i just I always looked at the mechanic system and went, that doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Okay, so we'll move there, I guess, and store a weapon, and that's it. Okay. 
that's always been my personal evaluation of how powerful i am can i hit myself yeah right <laughs> like if my funny. armor class is so insane that i can't hit my own armor class that's nasty yeah it also means that you might also not have a really high hit bonus too so well obviously that. there's give and take to it the flip side of that is am i so useless that i can't survive a hit from myself right 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 yeah okay. and also spells are troublesome for me except for the fact that i have spell resistance just that the rng sucks okay anyway. okay um darius you're up Yeah, it's only a 20-point difference. I mean, we're rolling d20s, so that, that's kind of significant. Nah. <laughs> He's an old man with a 10 con. He doesn't need a high AC. Well, when you can deflect every attack that's thrown at you, yeah, you don't need a high AC. That guy in the valley, does that matter in terms of trying to attack him? They're like the, the, the elevation difference? Not when you're size large. Okay. Uh, all right. Fire a giant. hill giant could literally just step down that yeah. distance. Damon's problem was that he couldn't reach and he couldn't jump up. He still did his job. That is doing stupid amounts of damage in one hit. Yeah, he crippled the boss. That If he hadn't done that you guys would have gotten your shit pushed in because my next spell over was... two turns i did twice as much damage to the boss as he did yeah and that's true don't forget but that <laughs> when when you do the damage is important because you need to do it before he acts and the fact yeah. that he went so quickly and did so yeah. much damage meant that he didn't get to cast a spell if he'd hit you i had yeah. a greater dispel coming next and that would have wiped out everything you had as uh magical defense well, we had kind a of. lot of magical uh, so I think I'll definitely take out blue uh, yeah that definitely oh, looks like a dead blue I can just yeah Nate, the rest of us are all magical defense yeah. The nice, thing, the nice thing is I have stuff that you just can't take away from me. The unnice thing is that, well, I guess it's just like I get less comparatively. It's just that it's all innate stuff that can't be taken away from me, which is nice. Can Arthur, can Arthur see the red? I think so. If he can... F okay. Do you not have line of sight with Arthur? Oh, I guess because you got yeah, two tokens. I, I, the elevation and stuff wasn't entirely clear to me, but yeah. Yeah, elevation's not a problem. There's no obstacles in his way. I don't know if you can do it from the player side, but if you click on a token you control and then control L, it shows you the line of sight. So if you're controlling two tokens that have different sight, you can use that or at least try it. Uh, I don't think I can hit that guy because I'm pretty sure a 14 does not hit. A 14 does not hit. You have been rolling terribly. <laughs> yeah. You have rolled more uh... single digits than everyone else combined. Yeah, I guess yeah. that'll uh I'll do our done. Okay. Uh then we are on to Anor. Alright. Um let me see what my distance is from this guy is. I'm pretty sure I can hit him with Miriak. Excuse you, character sheet, thank you. Just for the record, he has cover from you for that pillar. I don't think and it'll matter. I doubt it matters. I rolled a 34. Well, if you add four for cover and four for the storm, you're looking at a minus eight penalty. That's a... By the way, that 35 30, is... 24 to hit? Nope, that no, that's... A crit. No, it's not. Uh, yes, it is. I can bring, bring it up to 14. That's a natural 17. You're right. Um... I have to double it then, huh? Uh, my macro, my, what I was trying to do with my macro is I was trying to natural, to detect it so that it would light up green, if it, but I, I keep forgetting that that's not how that works. Okay. I'll have to double it then in the macro. That's fine. Note to self. 
but a 14. Okay. Um, a 14 so the natural 14 is actually a natural 17, which is not a crit. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to say. That's correct. Correct. Oh, wait, yeah. the, CF, the CS less than 17 is from the fact that that's taking into account the luck bonus. So I'd, uh, the, uh, a crit would be a 38 oh, on, yeah, the, a natural, on the total. A, a, natural, a natural 17. A natural yeah. 17 would be, yeah. Um, so that's still probably going to kill him with the three shots I did, though. Let's see, 24, not, yeah. I killed, him, I killed him on the second hit. Okay. So uh, all of these slods are dead. I actually did one point of fire damage, too, through his fire resistance. So. I loot the lair. You loot the lair. We loot the lair. Excuse you. No, you're firing your bow. Apollo's gathering treasure. I finished firing my bow. Yep. Oh, you and, mean like his now action. It's Apollo's you mean like turn. his action for the round. Yeah, okay, now it's his right, turn. Though. He goes and takes all the loot. Well, you can't take all of the loot in one turn. That's six seconds. Watch no, he, he just takes all of the gray slots loot and he gets uh, double normal, so. Well. That was the other thing is I didn't get a chance to finish... Uh, detailing the gray slot but uh they are magic item collectors so they get double normal treasure Ooh. so he could have had some more cool abilities but i'm closer to, to the gray, gray slot than apollo is yeah Unless, but like, can you get there anything. before he takes his action can he climb this and go up here I don't know. Well, it's just a ramp one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But it seven, takes it eight. takes more than one action to take all the items from somebody. Nope, it just takes one action. He gets it all. I'd... It'd be a full round action, at least. We're yeah, a party. I'm gonna. Sh you better share, sir. Okay. Oh, okay. I think there's also like some sort of contract we have. But anyway. Yeah, obviously, unless you guys want to actually fight over the treasure, you're gonna split it. No. That's silly. I've had players roll initiative to fight over treasure. Uh, I think it's retarded personally, but even if there's That's something hilarious. really good That's... in the pile that yeah, helps well, multiple people, you just come up with Have we rolled up all the treasure piles already? Or not this one? Uh, all the treasure is rolled except for the gray slot. I didn't get to do it. So uh, didn't get that yet. we can okay. do that at the end if you guys want. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Are we also going to level this session because we killed the boss? Um, I was going to ask you guys about that if anyone has any pacing issues because you do, you definitely got enough uh, XP in this level or in this uh, session to level up so as long as everyone's cool with leveling quickly I don't have a problem with it or we can put it off leveling quickly is awesome in the words of Kenny did we level? I as far as XP is concerned mathematically you did level so if you guys want to level did we level? Okay. You do it when you get the back last to town time, and the rest, first right? time. Right? Yeah, you have to rest. You don't get your new abilities until you've got a full night's sleep. So that's fine. Uh, but all you guys have to do for that is go back and hang out in the uh, the mayor's estate. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that's what we do after we clear all the treasure out. Of course, pick up all the treasure. Yeah. Sure. I'm I assume we're gonna have time to do that. Quickly scanning the dungeon to make sure you got everything. And now I wanted to ask you if you were going to allow the UA variant Evil Paladin, uh, which is basically uh, everything is flipped. <laughs> like uh, Aura of Good becomes Aura of Evil, Detect Evil becomes Detect Good, Smite Evil becomes Smite, Smite Good, Lay on Hands becomes Deal Damage, Aura of Hope becomes Aura of Everyone Takes a Penalty to Save. It should be allowed because I'm playing a Chaotic Paladin in another game. Uh, okay, oh. that, that's, that answers that question. And you, um, nice, easy. Um, and tyranny turns out to be the one you want to be because that's uh, yeah. lawful evil and axiomatic, and that is Bane's favorite Bane's type. Bane's alignment. Yeah, that would give me. Oh, that would up my loyalty score too because I can cast another spell level. Oh wait, no, that's not how that works. So for the purposes of um, the Paladin, okay. you because you are going to be an axiomatic evil Paladin, your abilities will be based on the lawful... Aura of law. Yeah. Smite chaos. Yeah. So okay. when That's looking, actually probably better. Um, yeah, in this game, long term, it'll probably provide more bonuses for you because this is, I think, well, the third th chaos thing you guys have encountered. 
also, I've noted like a lot of the devil's abilities work against good. Like I have, I have unholy blight. So, for example, if I have both unholy blight and law of orders wrath kind of thing, then I can you know cover both ends. Yeah, no, that is that is true too. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start figuring this. So I'm gonna do some math on this because I think this is probably the right choice. Not math, but like yeah. run the numbers. Dies. Yeah, basically. It's going to be my 10th hit die, either way. So I think that's going to... I'm just basically doing some math on my loyalty score, how much that's going to increase. I'm going to get, like, an extra... one from this attack. That gives me proficiency in heavy armor, which I didn't have before, so it's another plus one. Yeah, it hasn't really come into play much, but uh, you can't wear heavy armor and fly. Yeah, I know, but the proficiency is what matters, right? Yeah, that's that's absolutely true. And the loyalty score. Oh, I see what you're saying. It gives you the bonus to your loyalty score. Affiliation score, yeah. And I think I need a 33 to get the next ability, which I would be getting to, to get fear as a spell like ability. That's pretty sweet. I'm surprised nobody used that. Especially, yeah, especially when you were surrounded, that would be a good way to get rid well, of. Well, I didn't have it yet. I didn't have it yet. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have. I was actually thinking about it. I'm like, don't I have that yet? Oh, don't I don't have it yet. That's why I was I thinking. Forgot about it. Yeah. Yeah, that's so both the that. plus and minus of the loyalty or the affiliation is you frequently forget about your abilities. All right, I take all the loot and go back to town. With everyone i don't want to be down here anymore. we get okay. to heal when we go down right or um you don't well, get to heal just... but for all intents and purposes you're back in town you are not engaged in anything you can take tomorrow off and heal up you have a cleric in your yeah. party um yeah you're right. the only one who's really brutalized everyone else is pretty much fine like darius has yeah. all his hit points damon has all his hit points i took a lot of damage from those spells yeah, because of all the, because uh, of all the I save for half of double damage. I ate so many of those chaos hammers. Yeah. Oh, um. Do you have spell resistance scale with hit dice or level or whatever? Uh, I feel like if it. Yes, if you look on the character sheet that I originally gave you, it should say what its spell resistance is, and it is like ten plus your hit die. It should be. Well, its spell resistance base is twenty. So I think it's 11 plus my hit dice. Something like that. Like, like I said, just look at the Enri's uh, character sheet I gave you. Yeah, yeah. I usually so it'll be it 21. It'll be up to 21. It's my 10th hit die. So. So I'm level 9. 10. Did I almost put a 19 there? Oh, nice. Almost max. Nice. It's a nice roll. Tons of hit points. Yeah, I have a lot of hit points. That's the one good thing. Um, okay. So you do... Um, when you get base save bonuses from racial hit dice and then you get them from class hit dice, you stack them, right? Just as the tables say? Or do you only get the plus two from a good save once? No, you get whatever your save bonus is from each class you have. Okay, so you use your so... base save as a Rainies, and okay. then you add your plus two for being a Paladin. Paladin for Fortitude only. Um, yeah, that that sucks. Work. Well, that's fine. I mean, um, my saves are already very good. And once I get to my next level, I'll get my Charisma on all my saves. So. Yeah, that'll nice. be a perk. I'm gonna start taking. Uh, I'm gonna start taking um, uh, melee feats to kind of be a hybrid melee range character. It'd be weird because I already have flyby attack, and I have a bunch of melee abilities that are good in melee. Like my AC is nuts. I have all the damage reduction. So. That's what I said from the beginning. I was surprised that you chose to play a ranger. When you would make such a good well, fighter. 
what I'm what I'm saying is I'm going to be a hybrid like between melee and ranged. I'm not going to just be melee or be ranged. That's what the idea I want to try to work on is. It's going to be weird because I have to take you know things like power attack, and I also have to get a better melee weapon, which I guess we can pull off considering we just made yes amount of money. Yeah, I don't, I didn't look at the totals, but I'm guessing that uh, Damon did, and there's a lot in there. There is a plus one weapon in there. Do we get? Do we get? Do we? Has it been rolled? What kind of weapon it is? No, I told uh, Damon you guys could just pick whatever weapon you wanted. Could it be a plus? Well, if it was a plus one sword, then I could actually use it as a. It, we can pick whatever. We can. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you guys could let me have a plus one greatsword out of that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, why don't you right. wait and find out what all the treasure is? And yeah, of course. Split of course. it up. Of course. That way, you're not taking yeah, a I plus wanna... one sword instead yeah. of a plus five ring of protection. Yeah, of course. Right. I, I mean, our, yeah. Okay. That's true. I did have the. I did take the plus two for that for that encounter, but I can always take a better one later. Um, Instead depending of... upon how you guys want to do it, what we normally do for magic items is we just take turns picking. I don't know what kind of uh, situation you're currently in, but there's enough here that everyone can get a pick and probably come back around and get two or three more picks from the pile. Um, whether or not you guys want to go full share with Darius is a uh, lawful evil discussion but uh outside of uh in character issues um there's tons of treasure so do with it as you will john the the thing I um, know is that um arthur is an artificer uh you know if there's a if there's a magic item that you particularly want that you don't have he can potentially craft that for you he doesn't have to do it himself. He has a homunculus that's a dedicated right that can make items for him. Of course, part of the deal is it costs XP. Um, I get a small amount of XP reserve as a class feature, so I have a certain amount of XP I can do for that. But the other way I can get sort of free XP is if there are magic items that nobody wants, I can basically suck the XP out of them and use that to use that XP to craft some other item that people will want. So keep that in mind. What do we don't want that I can maybe suck the XP out of and then give you some potentially craft some other magic item that you do want? Okay. I I don't I didn't think John used the XP for crafting or do you? Um, I don't use the XP rules for magic item crafting as a general rule because I have everybody stay on the same XP tier. But uh, I'll look at the ar the artificer um, and figure out what I want to do with it. If he has a straight conversion, um, I have a different system. I use the second edition uh, Condrain system. But um, you can bypass the Condrain system if you have a way of bypassing the XP system. So same deal. I did something similar with uh, Lake for his uh, dwarf character. Um. Sorry, what I was what I was gonna ask is the is uh, augmented summoning summoning a feat that might be worth taking from summoning as much as I if you're summoning things that aren't undead. Um, undead doesn't really benefit from plus two con. It's it's plus four enhancement to strength and con. Yeah, but half um, of that you're not getting. True. For the for the spells, so you have listed here that paladins Oh, zero level spells. Interesting. So, basically, what it seems to be is that I would get a zero level spell slot. What's the zero? Like, if I get a bonus from my ability score, I get one? Yes. Same as How do you all the other determine classes. bonus zero level ability scores, though? Um, your bonus yes. ability zero level are on the odd levels. So, at 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, you get a, a of the extra. ability score? Yeah. So uh, an ability score of 20 would be... Five zero level so spells. Okay. And what spell list do I use for that? Because As a paladin, you use the cleric list or okay. the uh, paladin list. There are a couple of spells that are on the paladin list that are better than the cleric, but otherwise just use the cleric list. There are also... I, I'm swatching it out because I get uh, the spell list. I, I replace... Paladin spell list the following is Bane, Corrupt Weapon, Create Weapon. Yeah, so the, the, the spells are a little bit different. There's a different spell list I use. Paladin yeah, just, ignore, the, just uh... ignore that completely. Just use the cleric okay. spell list. Um, and you get one use of... The yeah, you get one of Bane's domains as a bonus spell. 
uh, what's the domain? F well, domain spells don't have zero level, do they? They do in my game. Uh, what's the zero? What's the domain? Let's see. What domains do we have? Hatred. Can I we, assume. Can we move there? on with the game? Yeah, you guys can. Yeah, uh, you guys can do that. That's fine. We can move on. I'll, I'm basically going to feed it so, while we do this. It's fine. Okay. What did you want to do, Jesse? Uh, well, I wanted to go let the mayor know that we're finally done with the. Well, we think we're we think we're done, and then figure out uh, payment and whatnot. Okay. So you guys. So you guys... I... Exit the dungeon, uh, gather up your stuff, mute your mics, and uh, head back to the mayor's place. Um, Wait, do we know if we're actually done? Sorry, what? We went, we went around gathering all the loops and checking at the end. Oh, okay. I missed that part. So, but we, so we, we, we believe it's now cleared. Yes, you have yeah, checked we all of the passageways in the sewer, and there are no more oh. slots. Good because I have zero power points left. <laughs> I don't. Do I get the domain powers as well, or just the spell? You get all the functions of the domain you choose. Okay. And I treat my paladin of tyranny level as my cleric level for that purpose. Yes. Which doesn't appear to matter for the hatred domain. Okay. What's the zero level spell for hatred? I'll have to look it up. Did we not just say we'll do this afterwards? Like you're literally right. interrupting what we were moving on from okay so uh you go back and see the mayor and uh who's doing the official diplomatizing uh, i think the um leader should be doing the diplomatizing because i missed the session where we were talking to him so i don't even know what's going on Okay. Well, evidently, I forgot that whole session, or um, <laughs> missed it, or something. But um, <laughs> sure. So, um, okay. So yeah. So I mean, I guess we would rest up. We go. We talk to the mayor. We would uh, do similar to what I described before, where we tell him that you know the sewers are cleared out. There's nothing left down there. Look, but before, since we're resting before you talk to him, if you want, um, I would probably discuss it with you briefly. I have a, I have a power conceal thoughts that if you are, if at any point you're trying to bluff him, it would give you a plus ten. If you're, if you're, if you're just gonna do, if you're just talking to him and not lying, you won't. I mean, I guess we're lawful, so I guess you're probably not lying. But if you, no. if you, if you, if you want a plus ten bluff, I can give it to you. Yeah, I'm not trying to I'll deceive him in any. Yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough. But if you not mistaken, it might be worth. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a situation where he's trying to get out on a technicality, so we're going to get out on a technicality. Is the the because okay, none, so none yeah. of this is technically illegal, right? So it's fine. It's fair game in that sense. Okay, so I guess yeah, give him the plus ten. Okay, put up uh, conceal thoughts on you. All right, thank you. So then... I can also add plus four to your charisma if you enhance my bonus if if uh, that helps. Yeah, uh, that'll help a little bit. That'll give an additional plus one. Okay. And I guess it might be worth spending the time to identify the items before we do all this, just in case any of those would provide a bonus as well. Okay, so did you want to uh, spend some time to identify your items beforehand? Yeah, we, we could, yeah, we could leave them with someone before. Well, you have new items too. Oh right, like most of the treasure you didn't collect last time. I think out of the ten bags of treasure, you took three of them last time. Right, right. All 
All right. So the uh, gray slot has 4,220 uh, gold pieces and seven gems. And 60 is not bad. 60 is one. Oh, no, that's the wrong one. Uh, 60 is D6 minor. So two ma minor magic items. Ugh, that's terrible. Maybe it's not going to be that great. This is what you get for killing the boss so quickly. Is the 22 supposed to The 22 would be the magic items, which is D6 minor again. So 39... I think I've... I used a reroll code. <laughs> if you want to use a reroll code on a uh, magic item drop, sure. Sorry, I don't recording all that. Could you just tell me what they were again from the top? Uh, you have 4,220 gold pieces, seven gems, and two minor. Darius can appraise the gems potentially also if you guys want. Are you using that code, Jesse? Uh, yeah. I believe I have um, one from a while ago still. Okay, just uh, DM it to me. I think it's the one that I haven't used yet. They're all completely transferable, so you can use them for whatever you want. Okay, there you go. I don't like the number 22 on magic item. Well, it's not. that's not your magic item. That's the... Uh... Uh, quite the percentile on the table. Yeah. 66 is way better, though. Oh, this is going to burn your biscuits. What? The range is 20 to 73. Ah. Uh, but it's four uh, minor magic items. Come on, give us a luck plate again. <laughs> You're definitely not getting another luck blade. When did you get a luck blade out of a minor? My, in the plane escape me. game, he rolled, uh, well, I rolled it, but I rolled uh, 100 on the table, which was a special item, and then I rolled on the other table and rolled it, the luck blade, and it was just... That's disgusting. Yeah, and it, under normal circumstances, I probably wouldn't have given it to them, but he's a a halfling in that game and he uses a rapier so it's a specialized weapon i was like that's basically a once in a game thing that's never going to happen again so he's got that's his one good my weapon. special item for the yeah even though i've got better weapon <laughs> it's yeah. still good because it gives me the bonus to everything else mm -hmm. and they used they used one wish to uh get a portable Pretty hole so they could carry all the treasure out of that dungeon and they used another wish to escape a tpk so it's worked out nice. well on the dm side oh yeah if we didn't use that wish the second that second wish we the game would have been over oh boy okay so 33 is 2d4 again so 3,120 gold pieces from that drop. And then 39 or 33. Where am I? Yes. 33, 22. The 22 is the other one. You're confusing me with all these numbers. Uh, 33 on gems is also 2d6. Sorry, what was the number again for the gold? 3,120. 3, and then six gems. Okay. And four minor, four minor magic items. So, how many total miners did you get? Was it six? Um. Well, you said four and four. 
So that's eight. Was it four and four? I thought the first one was two. He re-rolled it. He re-rolled into a four. No, he re-rolled the 22 on the table. And it got a 66 or something. And then he rolled a four. Yeah, and then he rolled a four for the number of magic items. Minor magic items. Oh, okay. Well, then I can roll the uh, second d6 if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Ended up being a two anyway. <laughs> Six minor magic items. It's better than four. Much better than four. Okay, 79 is a wand. 16 is a potion. 47 is another rod. Wow. Oh, yeah, and I just realized I kind of want that power up because I get Firestorm now. Ooh. Okay, oh, gonna be really 25 bad. is another potion. 18 is also a potion. And 80 is another wand. Wow. Not too bad. Three potions, but minor magic items are often potions. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Arthur has a lot of wand enhancing type abilities. I don't know what the wands are going to be, of course, but. Well, then, let's well, go to yeah. the wand table and find out. Thirty-two on the wand table is summon monster one or false life. I think we rolled that last time. And then seventy-five is knock. Or dispel magic, that's pretty sweet. Uh just dispel magic. Anyone have an objection to to dispel magic? No. Spell magic sounds good. <laughs> okay, so the second wand is to spell magic, and the first actually, one. Is that a, do we do we have an arcane caster? Actually, that's the first question. Uh you do. You have a bard in the party, and you have an artificer as a okay. minion. Yeah, the artifacts okay. are artifacts can use any wand, and can often get um, really good enhancements to them too. Like put put magmatic feats on them, and soon he'll get a feat that gives him. Plus two DC and plus two cash level on wands, and so. Okay, I mean, I might be able to use it because I might. I'm debating yeah. on following Kenny's path and just going grabbing sorcerer level levels into a magic third. But that's, that's pretty. Awesome. I don't know if I get all the wands, obviously. But uh, sorry, what's up, please? What's up, John? I said the the Mystic Third is really awesome. Yeah, I'm debating on if I just want to grab. Um, while we go when we go back into town, see if I can like. Find someone to train What's your and, like, wisdom and charisma, or your intelligence and charisma? I'd be the better one. Because my intelligence is 16, charisma is 18. No, that's not bad. You could be a sorcerer. Yeah. That's the same thing Kenny did. Yeah, I'm debating on grabbing arcane levels. So. Okay. Um. So, did you want summon monster one or false life? I guess we could do the false life this time. Okay, write it down. Oh, do we get? Do we also get us? Do we also have a summon monsters as well? Or yeah, in the horde already, there's a summon monster um, wand. Yeah. Cool. We That's could. All. We well, the false life. We yeah, actually, false life is worth. What defines axiomatic? Super what do you mean awful, defines it? it? Like in the for the purposes of uh, using the. Um, for the loyalty score uh that what is being you? being axiomatic is basically like being a paladin you are you put law and order as the highest priority in your uh code of honor okay so, so by doing this i, I gain that one i guess yeah uh, you see. would be required to maintain an axiomatic alignment from this point forward okay 
it basically means that if you have to choose between doing the evil thing or the lawful thing, you would always choose the lawful thing. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. So I would write uh, that would write just L L E as like lawful, lawful. Yeah, that's the that short sense. form I used. Yeah. Okay. So that makes actually thirty five be my. Okay. Um. Damon, do you have all of your wands uh, available? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to roll charges for them, so we'll just start at the top of the list and go down. Okay. First one has 15 charges. 21. Those are some terrible rolls. 35, that's pretty sweet. How many wands do you have? Just those three. Oh, okay. 35 to spell magics is pretty sweet. I think it's that is pretty. Yeah, that was the second one then, yeah, that we picked up just here. Yeah, you had a uh, summon monster, false life, and the, the spell magic. I didn't, magic. I didn't know if there was another one in the pile. No, it looks like that's it. Okay. So what else do we have to roll? Three potions and a rod. Rods are awesome, so I'll roll that first. 39. Rods are awesome. Metal and mineral Metal detection. And... I don't know if you guys want that. Thanks. Sounds horrible. If you were dwarves, it might be neat, but I think it's generally pretty crappy. You want me to re-roll that one? Yeah, yeah, we'll sure. roll that one. Eight is lesser extend. That's not too bad. That's, that's, a, that's a good one. That's a good one. Pretty good. Extensions are always nice. Sure. Six spells. Okay, what do we got left? Three potions. Twenty-eight is magic uh, weapon oil. Uh, darkness. Darkness in a vial. Yeah, you just put it on something; it makes it dark. And the last one is cure serious wounds. That's actually probably the best one. Sorry, what was All the right. last one? Cure serious. Yeah, uh, it'd be nice to have a potion, I think. I am going to have to uh, get going here, guys, actually, as soon as we wrap this up. The treasure okay. That's fine. We only have two more things to do, and then we'll bail. Yeah. 30, uh, pass without trace. Dark vision, there's a good one. <laughs> or displacement an even better one amazing okay then I'll roll the last one you took the displacement I assume yeah that is an awesome potion uh, 57 is bull strength uh, or cure serious or remove curse. Mm. Might be nice to have a remove curse on hand. That'd be nice to do. Yeah. The cleric gets stuck or something. But cure series might just be better for what we want to do. No, whichever you want is fine with me. I think it'd be nice to have a remove curse portion just in case, but. I think Remove Curse is more utility-based. Like, that is really, really valuable if you're in that situation, but kind of useless outside of it, so. Yeah, true. It only, only matters if it comes up. That's true. Yeah. So I think we'll just do the potion then, or the healing potion. Okay, then. Um, so we're going to wrap it up here. We will pick up with the mayor dis discussion next time. Um, for the purposes of the potions, um, unless you guys are going to roll spellcraft checks to identify them yourselves. 
Uh, there are 10 gold pieces of pop to identify, uh, 200 for the other magic items. We didn't get any scrolls this time, but you just need to cast read magic on them. And I think that's everything. Anyone have any questions Wait, before I bail? Did we roll up all the magic items? Yep, we had crap magic items. It was six minor. The, I, bo um, the boss had the worst magic items in the group. Lol. We also I'll killed him quicker than most for, of the uh, ones, too. Awesome. I'll make for, for Arthur on the... Just because um, Arthur is next level, which he's he's getting. He's taking one mastery, um, which is going to up the caster level by two. And so he might be... Uh, and a lot of times he doesn't have anything good to do in combat anyway, so uh, giving him the... Uh, the one to spell magic might be good because he'd be, you know, two level, two level boost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, you guys can fight over magic items in the uh, Discord. Yeah. Figure I out still what want you the, want. One of the rings plus two, and also a plus one. A plus oh, one that is something I forgot. There was a third um, green slot, and he also had a ring. So there's a third plus two ring. Okay, that's good. So. Take John oh, for the. Sorry, what was that? Plus two protection? Yes, it is plus two protection. Yeah. There are three plus two protection rings. Nice. Yeah. And, so, um... Sorry. For the purposes of taking a sorcerer, do, a, do I have to do anything in-game, or can I just, like, say, like, we... I, like, had, I don't know, what's-his-face teach me arcane magic? normally i require you to do something for the purposes of a sorcerer because it's an innate talent you could probably just uh spend some time with lear and we can retroactively say that that's what you've been working towards could um, i be initiated by the church uh with the help of one of the cleric that we have in the party yep to, most definitely. Uh, as, a, as an unholy warrior for sure they probably take they probably take me in an instant considering i'm an evil outsider <laughs> Uh, okay, well, uh, yeah, I can just we can retroactively say throughout play it's been like a goal of mine, a lawful into, legal outsider at that. Anyway, it's a goal, been a goal of mine to delve into the arcane arts. Yeah, yeah that's fine. That. If you decide, also, just hang on a second. If you decide, are you going to take it this level or are you just going to do it in the future? I'm going to take it probably a 10th level because I don't want to pass up on 5th level uh, or 5th level spells. One thing to take into consideration when you go arcane, you can't wear armor anymore. Yeah, I know. I was I was going to look at switch, switching to switching armor like seeing if I can yeah. sell or this uh, can I use a shield or no? Uh, you can use a shield but shields also have arcane spell failure checks so, so Essentially, I'd probably just jump to like a melee, like robe melee cleric. Yep you uh, you can you can get a uh, armor weave shield that will give you some bonuses, and uh, 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 there's bracers uh, plus three in the party. I don't know who would, I don't know if they had been assigned, and uh, and then you got lots yeah, of money, so you can buy uh, armor weave for yourself. Yeah, that's not an issue. Like I'll probably just go. I'd probably just go to two-handed, two-handed weapon style, and uh, so I've already got all the meta magic feats. So, and I'm taking another one. This is the ninth level. So, okay, I'm, and I'm um, a caster anyway, so it doesn't matter. I sit in the back anyway. Totally and fair. did you? Um, sorry, did you say? Uh, did you? What, what did you say the, the zero level spell was? For oh, for the hate domain. domain? Yeah. I did not say because we were going to do it at the end. Yeah, I mean, the, the, my question was, what is it? <laughs> Mainly, just kind of reporting it in a weird way. I forget what it was. I think it might be no light. It is no light. You are correct. Which does it probably what I it it's, does. It's, what's it called? It's, it's light, but the light, but it creates darkness. It's it darkness. Yeah, but it just blocks darkness, out non-magical light. Okay, so Which it's basically is... a. It's absolutely nice. awesome if you have dark vision. Okay, it's great for me it. because I can see in the dark perfectly. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. see you later, Lake. Yeah. Um, okay, so hatred domain yep. power once a day. I'm going to dip too. Um, if I have any questions about uh, like getting sorcerer levels, which I'm probably going to take a 10th level. 
just because I don't want to pass one fifth level spells. So, mm. um, get you guys. Yeah. Uh, also, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah. So the, the so, yeah, were you doing feats every odd level or every third level? It doesn't matter for every now, odd but... level. Oh, every odd level. So my next level will get one. Okay. And the ability score increases every fourth level. Okay. Cool. Yep. Um. All right. I think that's it for me this round. Uh, we're doing this next week. Are we? Sorry, what was that? Are we? Next week, are we doing the same, or what's what's the next game? Then, next campaign? next week, we are doing the Plain Escape game, so we'll be taking a week off of this game, and then we're waiting on Jesse to pull his head out of his ass. Um, he said the third, <laughs> which would be the next time we we could play this game, uh, he might not be able to make it, so we have to um, mm. play it by ear. But hopefully, uh, we'll take a week off and come back. Uh, uh, can I join the plane escape one? And if so, I'd just be curious because who's uh, like what kind of characters are in it? I guess plane escape game has a tabaxi of uh, shaman, sorcerer, mystic thurge, uh, a halfling yeah. ranger rogue, um, a psionicist monk, and a uh, human a human monk. Okay. It is also a lawful game. Uh, they are lawful good and lawful neutral, half and half. Okay. Where did you put the um all your house rules besides the document? Like, is there like a list of all the house rule uh, documents anywhere? No, they're all, um, all separate documents. We'll what are you looking for? Stuff. I'm looking for like because I know you have like other. I thought you, there were some other house rules you made for the certain classes besides just the individual spell slots and stuff. I can't remember. Yeah, the paladin a, spell uh, progressions. Oh. Sorry, what yeah. was that? You made the spell paladin spell progression better, but there was something else you did. I thought. I don't know. Maybe later. Um, I can send you the paladin doc. That's not a big deal. There are a couple of perks yeah, to no. the pal. Oh, you're thinking of things like smite good or smite chaos yeah. and. Uh, lay yeah, on right hands now, and whatnot yeah there's a document i think it's in the updates channel that was just these are the ideas that we're going to play test okay that stuff's not until next level anyway but yeah oh the the uh deadly touch in this case the one that does damage also does when i when i when i do the aura of so the the aura in the case that gets from detect spells um do i just stack my pal uh paladin yeah. of journey level with my yeah, it means nothing. face it means nothing you just it, you continue to be a lawful evil outsider. Yeah, well, but like it, the the strength of the aura. Yeah, it obviously is just your hit dice. Hit, total hit dice, yeah. Yeah. So as a paladin, yeah. you are the source of evil and order, and as a devil, you're a source of evil and order. But if I do that, uh, but yeah, I'm saying the um, what was it? I'm trying to remember. Okay. Uh, like if I took levels in some other class that wasn't divinely associated, I would still increase in that but because because I just increased the number of hit dice. Yeah. So once someone might once you if they once you radiate an evil aura or a lawful order or whatever, it's just your hit dice after that. That's your hit dice. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's cool because uh, eventually I'm going to start getting like, oh, people are going to look at me like, eh. well, no, they won't. Just with the text spells. Uh, but yeah, I um. Yeah, I think I'm going to start doing some. Yeah. Once I get to my next feat, it's probably going to be power attack. To be honest, I need to I need to kind of double, you know, back and forth specialize because I I need to do, be able to do some melee just because I have so much good defense. Yeah, power attack and yeah. cleave would make you super nasty because you could do so much more damage with a great sword. Can I retrain feats? No. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, but what you can do know. is, if you want to take, if the party wants to take a month off, you can well, train for a feat. So you can train for a feat and get a bonus one. Yeah, you can get you can do one training feat. Okay, it's just yeah. That might be good to get me power attack, for. but we'll see. We'll talk to them later. I mean, I, I do well, kind I, of want power attack. There's no urgent reason to press forward at this stage, but uh, obviously the issue with the dwarves might be on an RP level, something they want to push forward with. Yeah, but you can ask them. Right. To chat. I mean, I, yeah, if I can get yeah, if I can get myself power attack, I'll be pretty scary. You can either so do I can it shoot at range and I can attack in melee and yeah. Nope, that sounds awesome. Yeah. Basically versatility is what I'm going for this character, which I think I've succeeded at. 
or will be succeeding at once I I mean I took a melee weapon and it already hurts even without power attack so okay like I think I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I can deal okay damage with it in two attacks let's see do you have anything uh you need before I go Matt nope I'll see ya okay um oh, Matt too. did you want to join the playing escape game we talked about that earlier Is that for me or Matt? For Matt. He was asking yeah. about it. Yeah. I'm going to go to bed. I'll see you. Or, okay. Yeah. I'll catch you later. Yeah. See you. See you. That was level 9, level 10?